Hello! Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the news the past seven days, but uh, I've found another vehicle I'll never get into. <laughs> Man, deep sea carbon fiber submersible. That's going on my list. Along with a hot air balloon, a helicopter, and Uber pool. I guess the submersible was kind of like Uber pool, but for like billionaires. <laughs> didn't know each other and uh, there were a few unscheduled stops. The driver didn't know what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> I enjoyed it, you know, I think it's... <laughs> nice to see lobsters eating the super rich rather than the other way around. You know? <laughs> Bit of karma. <laughs> That was a great bit during the press conference after they admitted it and imploded. Someone put their hand up there like, is there going to be any attempt to recover the bodies? <laughs> I was like, you have not been following this story closely. <laughs> there is an attempt, we've got our finest crustaceans on it right now. <laughs> There were four, four uh, kilometers under the, under the sea, and uh, the, uh, the pressure there is uh, 5,704 uh, uh, pounds inch per square, I think. Uh, that doesn't make sense, but like, <laughs> it's dangerous, you know. <laughs> I felt sorry for was there was a 19-year-old boy on the submarine and he was there, you know, to like impress his dad. Yeah. A greater pressure. <laughs> you were four kilometers below the surface of the ocean, dad pressure. <laughs> I saw that story and I was like, in hindsight, like some of the places my dad took me, they weren't that bad. <laughs> At the time, I'm like, not the fucking railway museum again. <laughs> but we have to go and forage in the tip. <laughs> my dad never took me <laughs> four kilometers below the surface of the ocean. Entirely untested carbon fiber dildo to see a wreck. Why would you go down there? It's like, it's fucking. Watch the film. Just watch the film, you know? Kid Winslow gets a nubs out. And Leonardo DiCaprio has an explicable mushroom style haircut. Like, you know? You're not going to see that down there. <laughs> it's like one of the most dangerous, inhospitable places on earth, and it's to see like a fucking crushed ship. <laughs> it's like me saying to you guys, hey, I got an idea, right? Let's go to Chernobyl. Because <laughs> there's a burnt out car I'd like to show you. <laughs> be there at midnight. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was, I don't know if you like, I, I was like really into the story as well, right? So it was like, um, in the deep sea submersible, there was a toilet, like one end, and like, if you wanted to like do a shit or something, then you had to pull a curtain across. Imagine that. You're at the bottom of the ocean, trying to quietly shit behind the shower curtain, and on the other side of the curtain is your dad and three strangers. Like even Jigsaw from the Saw films would be like, 
That's too much. I feel like it's too cruel. My only hope is that someone was like mid shit when it broke. <laughs> <laughs> the other four people on the other side of the curtain are like, he's really straightening the neck. <laughs> That's probably only like one week I can, I can do those jokes. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I had to do it tonight, because like, I won't be able to do it like, you know, in a month's time and people will be like, what the fuck are you on about? And like three weeks ago, like it hadn't happened. It would have been weirdly prophetic. This guy knows the future. Has he got the lottery numbers? No. He has a tale of aquatic tragedy. <laughs> Easily avoided. Um, I'm supposed to do seven minutes and my, my daughter snapped my watch off. So, um, <laughs> one minute. <laughs> how long have we got left? One? One. One, okay. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy the submarine stuff more. 